In problem number three, we are going to be working on a hypothesis testing, but it's extremely important that you read the entire question so you don't end up performing um, the complete solution for a hypothesis testing when it's not supposed, I mean, you're not supposed to ask to do so. So for this particular problem, this is an experiment on getting flu with vitamin C and with the placebo. So for letter A, we are supposed to answer this question if this particular experiment is, or if this particular study is an experiment or an observational study. And for letter B, based on this particular study, we are supposed to write out the hypotheses and the type of test that we're going to be using in conducting a hypothesis test for this experiment. So in this particular study, um, the researcher is conducting whether um, vitamin C reduces the occurrence of flu. And in this study, they use 808 students, volunteers who did not take a flu shot. So the subjects were randomly assigned to one, two groups, the treatment group who received the vitamin C and the control group who received the placebo. And then they... Um, record the result of their study afterwards, which is over here. Now, to answer letter A, this is certainly an experiment because of the presence of the treatment group in uh, this particular study. And also, subjects were randomly assigned to one of the two groups, which is the groups of the people who are taking the vitamin C and the groups of people who are um, taking the placebo. So to write out our answer, we can say So this is our explanation for letter A as to why this particular study is an experiment. Now for letter B, we are supposed to show what type of test we're going to be using in this problem. So we're, in this particular case study, we know that we're going to be using um, a proportion. So this one is a Z proportion or two proportion Z test because we have the group of the placebo group and the group of the vitamin C group. So to write out our hypothesis for problem letter B, we can start with writing out the type of test that we're going to use to conduct our study. This is the type of test that we're going to be using and also we're going to be writing our null and alternative hypothesis and in this case I'm going to uh, show that null hypothesis is that there's um, no difference between the placebo group and the vitamin C group. And uh, my alternative hypothesis will be the um, vitamin C group will show less volunteers getting sick as to the proportion of the volunteers who will get the flu with the placebo. So let's go ahead and write it out. So th these will be my two proportions, and to write out my null hypothesis, I will show that p sub 1 is equal to p sub 2, which means there's no difference between the proportion of the two groups, and the alternative hypothesis is that the people who are receiving the vi vitamin C will have, will be less than the proportion of people getting sick with the placebo group. And this is how we carry out, or how we will carry out the test using the two samples z-test for proportion with the null and the alternative hypothesis.